Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean Krabanda. So today I'll be showing you guys a workaround for a very common problem that many users on their older iOS devices are facing on YouTube, and that is error loading, tap to retry. And when they do tap to retry, nothing happens. So this problem has recently sprung up from older iOS users who are running iOS 6, iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, and iOS 10 on their YouTube app. So today I'll be showing you guys a quick workaround to solve this problem. So previously I showed you guys a workaround to download the YouTube app App and many other applications itself when you first download that same application on a newer iOS device such as this iPhone 11 and then download it on your older iOS device in this case it's iPad mini and then go to the purchase tab at the bottom of your app store and then click the download where you'll be downloading the last compatible version so this technique still works and you're able to download all the latest applications on your older iOS devices completely for free. So if you want to check out the full video in a detailed step-by-step -step manner, make sure to click on this card right here. So the YouTube application itself downloads with the method that I described earlier. So if we open it, however, you will see that the error that most people are getting is there where it says error loading, tap to retry. So as you can see, the YouTube application opens where it's showing error loading, tap to retry. And when you do tap to retry, nothing happens. So the reason being is because YouTube has removed support for the older iOS devices. And unfortunately, there's not many things that you can do to fix this. So the first thing you can do is jailbreak your iOS device. When you jailbreak your iOS device, you're basically changing the files and list. So basically what that will do is that when YouTube refreshes for new content, it'll be able to ping the server and then you'll be able to use the YouTube app. However, you have to you have a lot of information on the technology and you have to be very extremely tech savvy to jailbreak your iOS device. So instead, I'm going to be showing you a simpler workaround to solve this problem. So YouTube actually still works on your Safari web browser. So if I open up Safari and then I type youtube.com and I click enter. So it's saying open in YouTube, but we don't want to do this because as we know that the application won't work. So we click cancel and it is taking some time to load because it, as you know, the iPad mini is a very old iOS device. It came out in 2012. Anyways, now as you can see it has loaded. So what we're gonna do is create a shortcut of this so it will create an icon on the home screen which will allow us to easily click on it and open it. So what we're gonna do is click on the share icon on the top right. And then if we go here, we have a couple of options. What we're interested in is add to home screen. And here we're gonna get this pop-up. Right? Here you can just remove the home and the dash so it looks better and then click on add. And as you can see, it has added another icon, which is a YouTube. And if we click on it, it will load the YouTube in Safari. And since the, the original YouTube app is of no use to us, we can just delete it. So hold icon and click the X, delete. And if we click on the YouTube app, the shortcut that we created, as you can see, the YouTube site will open up in Safari and you'll be able to watch any video that you like. This is a very simple workaround. Hopefully this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give it a like, share this video with your friends and family, and comment down below if you have any questions or if you encountered any problems while following this video. And if you're wondering how I have all these new applications on this iPad mini, as you can see, I have Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Hangouts, Skype, and then I have Gmail, Google Chrome. The reason being is because I downloaded them using the method that I described earlier. And if you also want to get all these new applications on your old iOS devices, I strongly recommend you check out that video that I mentioned earlier. I'll leave the link in the description below. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.